Great here, welcome back to Factorio. Okay, so today, I'm not sure what I want to do today. I think it's very minimum what I should do as a long-term project is I noticed that I, I have a lake to the west here, along with the lake to the east. What that means is if I build two walls straight across, I'm completely secure on those two sides. And then I can decide to expand north or south from there. But at least that will give me... It, it will cut the number of, of uh, directions that I need to worry about down to two. So I think in the long term, basically just heading out west and uh, getting it all walled off, splitting this... I don't want to say continent, but this area into two. That would be a good a good start. So what I want to do to get that going is I, I basically got to work on my fundamentals. Obviously my iron production is just horrible. Uh, my copper production is not up to snuff. I need to get these resources going again. And I also need more power, which is always a problem. So what I'm going to do today, maybe, is ooh, advanced circuits for electric furnaces, but my limitation is brick. I'm not sure where I want to go today. Let's, let's look at the power utilization during the day. During the day, my power utilization is perfectly fine. Um, it's at night when things get a little, a little uppity. And let's check, well, first things first. Really, let's, let's get another 20 engines and place these 20 engines off the end of these. Um, because here's a, a ton of power during the night that I'm not using. Have I already built them? Wow. I'm not used to, uh. Having everything built like that. Okay. Let's get these dropped down. There we go. Engines, please. And... Oh, I guess I made t ten more engines than I needed. Hm, okay. Not a problem. So, let's see. What am I running up against here? I'm running up against my steel production here. Which is fine. I can't put another 10 engines there. Okay. Okay, well that, help out, that will help out on the power situation during the night just a little bit. So here, let's see. I got, I'm getting a decent amount of brick, slowly building up, and it's mainly because my walls are capped out at the moment. Okay, so let's look and see what it's going to take to actually wall this area off here. That's probably where I should start. Yeah, if I just take this wall straight across here, I'll be secure basically from the north. So let's do that right now. No, 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 wait. Yes, no, yes. I don't have walls. Why? Oh, that's not good. You need power. I mean, I made these with mediums? Well, that's not what I wanted at all. Let's look at my, uh... No? Oh, it must have been an old uh, defense thing that I was using. Interesting. And, okay, those are those are coming over from the main area. Okay, so let's go down. Let's uh, pick up all the walls. And I also need... I've got 14 guns. I think i got enough guns for this. So give me all my walls, please, and thank you. Let's get the walls up first. There we go.
before I go any further, let's let's check on this. Let's see how my personal robo ports. Yeah, they're they're doing okay on power. As long as you don't use them constantly, you can run them off of the solar power quite decently. Don't you beep beep me. And there we go. We have our wall all the way across the top. So let's get our, get our guns ready and we'll do a run, a line of uh, lasers all the way across. I guess they pop out and then go to my inventory to grab it, I guess? I'm not sure. What's this? Two objects are being damaged. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about it for the time being. I want to get this done. So here basically is our northern frontier. Now, obviously, these guns aren't going to be enough to, to, to hold this over the long term. But I believe that this will be enough for the time being. Oh, of course, I just ran... You... Oh, okay. There. Drop it. Get back in my inventory, please. Yay! Okay. Let's take a look at our power situation. So, looks like we made it through the night okay. We still have all, plenty of hot water, so this looks like it's working out nicely. Okay, power situation sorted. North side of the base, north east side is basically secure for the time being. Now, with the, the attacks coming in, what I'm going to need is uh, right in here probably. These require electric circuits and iron gear wheels. Well, I've got electric circuits here. I've got iron gear wheels here. Let's see if I can make this work. I want to make sure that my bots can repair as needed. If I use a long-handed inserter, and this is one of those things I'm not worried about high production. I just want it to be taken care of. So I'm not worried about massive throughput. Okay, so a long-handed inserter there will take care of that. Then a regular inserter does not reach. So if I get another long-handed inserter, can take care of that. And now I've got these being produced automagically. I know, it's another rat's nest in here. Looks ugly. Okay. And where's my passive provider chest? There. And we're going to limit this to... a hundred of them. Because any time that a... Um, that a construction robot needs these, they're going to run over here, grab them out of there, and then the the chest is going to replenish itself, and I don't think it's ever going to need 100. I mean, I've only got, where's my nearest robot port? 255 construction robots right now. So, yeah, they're, they're not going to need 100 of these at a time. And then, as they pick them up, they may not use them completely. They're going to distribute them around the network. So, this, this will work out just fine. Okay, another thing that I wanted to do was I want to make sure that I have a decent amount of storage. And I want to do it somewhere that is relatively defended. I mean, like the middle of my base defended. I don't want this to 
since things are going to go into the storage, it's probably not going to... I don't want it to be destroyed, because remember how much brick I lost last time. And I want it... Eh, that's a relatively decent storage chest. So... But this is the beginning of the bus. And I, and I might want to move this, these things. So, let's look at the map overall. Um, the solar is decent. Maybe something down here. Then again, I don't have the, the south relatively defended yet. Hmm. We'll worry about that in a little bit. It was an idea that I had, so... Darn. Okay. Oh, this whole time I haven't been re researching anything. Let's go for... Do I have... I actually have trash shots? Tra... No. Oh, no, it's not automatic trash lots. Okay. So let's go for... Um... One hundred fifty-four robot speed. Let's go for robot speed. Now this is going to take purple science, and purple science is made from the alien artifacts here. So let's drop down a assembly machine here. And right, I can't actually. Where is the alien science packs? Alien Science Packs is under Alien Technology, which is under Flammables, Explosives, Rocketry. And then Alien Technology. Okay. Well, that's me being dumb. Let's change our... I can't do Flying Speed. Let's get Character uh, Logistics Slots 2. I think I did that last... I'm going to leave that there as a uh, reminder. Hey. Dip. This is where you're going to put your purple science. And I want a requester chest there for that eventuality. Okay. Copper really should be my next goal. Okay. So, let's make... Well, the, the copper lines are full. It's just the smelting that is slow. So, what am I out of? Steel plate. There's my steel, t steel chest. Give me everything in there, please. Okay. So that's going to be 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 more electric furnaces. And I don't need that. Do I have it in here? Yes, I do. Okay, so what I want to do is flip this. Okay, I can fit another four in here without having to move my defenses. So, break this link. There we go. And let's get those next four down. And now we just need to bring this back over here. And let's see... Oh, it is kind of dark up here. You know what? Maybe I should also... Speed this up. Don't need those. Okay. 
In fact... Okay, I'm... Am I saturating a whole yellow belt now with ten? Because these are... Starting to unload. So that looks... It looks better. Adding those forward looks definitely better. Okay. We definitely have a solid yellow line down. So now we need... Just make a bunch of miners. Which is completely tap out this iron deposit. Which means, eventually, I'm probably going to have to tap this one up here. Or go down here south of the oil field. Okay. Oops, not there. Okay. I love building with robots when I can finally do it. Okay. So, how do I want to merge all of this in? Let's actually reverse it. No, my coal line is kind of in the way there. What we'll do is go underneath and do another uh, red merge in here. Where's my red merge? Uh, there. There we go. And let's get this out of my inventory. Oh, right, those are my full Tony construction robots. There we go. Character logistics slots done. Um, I'm not worried about the trash slots just yet. Let's get flammables out of the way. Let's, yeah, let's start working towards the alien technology. Okay, now let's take a look at copper again. So, copper is not completely saturated with 10, but at least it's getting there. And this is definitely a lot better. Iron still is not making it to the end. Uh, no. So... Let us force the issue. Oh, need a bunch more. I really should automate the production of Red Belt. Okay. So there's that side. Give me more, bring me more mats to make them, please. I'm not requesting gears? Oh, yes, I am. I am requesting gears. Coal, iron, and wood I no longer need on me. Good. Okay, next up would be... I don't want the flamethrower. What's holding up rocketry? Explosives. Give me explosives. I need more boom in my life. Okay. Again, just get rid of these. So now we... Okay. Copper still looks kind of light. Let's see if it's backing up. It 
isn't really backing up, I don't think. Why are these not fast inserters? There we go. Okay. So, it looks like I'm going to have to do something with that copper production to get more... Just more onto the belt. Into the bus. And iron is pretty much the same thing, but I haven't I haven't switched these over to the electric furnaces yet. And why do I have a strip of coal there that I'm not mining? Just get rid of that, please. Is this completely full? Yes it is. Okay. Well, one thing that I'm gonna to want to do is this merge pine is probably going to be here forever. So let's get a requester chest here. And you are going to request all the iron. That way all the iron chunks that, that I put in will automatically get re-injected into... Here, yeah, here it comes. And I'm going to do the same thing for copper up here. Um, yeah, this merge point is is definitely going to be here for quite a quite a while. And you request all of the copper ore. There we go. Explosives done. What's this? Oh, I know why that's beeping at me. Let's take care of that while I run past. Right. It needs to actually get to me first, and then it can deploy it. There it goes. That's why I wanted the, the worker speed next. Okay. So... I now have rocketry. Let's get that going so we can get up to alien science packs. Oh, this is not dropping down properly. Okay, well, that's what I get for not paying attention to which side of the belt is not saturated, right? And you... Why do I have five logistic robots on, on, on me? Okay, you take all of that. And you are going to request 50 iron ore. And where's my logistic robots? You fly. Get back in the network. Okay, there we go. And, yeah, I'm putting it on the wrong side of the belt here as well. I guess what I could do for the time being is just place it here. And... Yeah, that's why we're getting... Damaged, uh, damaged walls up here. But since it's in the, yeah, it's in the logistic network or the construction network, it gets repaired. Okay, you are going to request all of the copper, and you need power, so we'll just put a power pole right there. I don't think we need this one anymore. Nope. Okay. Get these alien uh, artifacts out of my... Get these gun, tur gun turrets out. Okay, well, I either need to build a second smelting area, which isn't looking too bad, because I actually do have the room down here. 
right here. I think I can squeeze another one in here. But for the time being, this looks like a good stopping point. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you next time. Have fun.